Hello, I'm Graham Lewis, and in this short video, we're going to talk about uh, present value. I recommend you watch the present value video first before you watch this one. So firstly, I've set up it here, and we've got our common interest I, 0 0.03, our regular amount, $500. We clicked on the dollar sign there to make that. Now let's do the period. So whatever period you choose, a week, a month, a year, semi-annually, I'll just call those 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's our N value. So 1, I'm going to enter a formula like last time. I'll show you, no, I'm going to do it the same way. Equals, click on the cell above and then add one as we did before and then I can copy that formula down later so for example I can drag that and I'll drag it down to four there for now now what I'm going to do slightly different to last time I'm going to work out the value of the present value by period so clearly um, after one year my value of the present value after one year is equal to the five hundred dollars I've put in divided by one plus 0 0.03 to the power 1. So I'm going to enter that as a formula. So equals, I'm going to click on the 500. I need brackets because I'm going to do a division because you can notice in the formula bar there is bracket equals 500. And then uh, I need to divide that by, and I'm going to open a bracket again, and I'm going to do 1 plus 0 0.03, close that bracket, and I need to raise that to the power one but i want to raise it to the power one here because i would like that to change to power two for year two or period two year three etc so i'm going to click on that cell so now let's decide and i'll close my overall brackets in fact i didn't need that first bracket there so i can delete that but i might put a bracket around here and here just to be on the safe side so i've got that's my formula to work out the amount 500 divided by 1.03 to the power one so now, some of these need to be self-referenced because I always want to use the same interest rate I, uh, which is uh, B1. So I always want to uh, have that as dollar self-reference. I always go to uh, column B, always go to um, column uh, row 1. I would recommend entering the dollars after. If you try and do dollar B, dollar 1, sometimes Excel goes funny. So hit the cell B1 and then put the dollars in after. I also want to always use the regular payment so I so I can change that. So I always want to do dollar E dollar the thing that's going to change in my formula because I want to raise this to the power one for uh, the period one, but on period two I want it to be power two. So let's hit enter and that should work out the uh, present value of that annuity. So it would cost me four hundred and eighty five dollars forty three point blah, 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 blah. Uh, cents uh, to raise that. Now, of course, we can format these. So I'll just highlight the first five there and let's hit the dollar sign so it's looking nicely in dollars. Excel keeps all the decimal places for you, so that's really nice. And now let's see what happens if I drag this formula down. If I drag this formula down, let's see if it's working. It makes sense that it's costing less to buy my year two annuity. So this pay out uh, $500 after two periods, if I say years for now, um, it would cost less, $471.30. Let's see if it's working. So click in the cell, always check your formula's working. So yes, it's doing dollar uh, $E dollar one, which is my 500, and I want to divide that by 1.03 squared. One plus dollar $B dollar one, yes, so that's the one plus 0 0.03. Uh, it's the power A5, yes, there it is, power two, it's working. So these are my um, actual costs of annuity by period. So I need to find now a total sum of those. So obviously, after the first year, it's just equal to that cell. I can just do equal B4, hit enter. But after the second year, what I really want to do is add these two together. And after the third year, add these three together. And after the fourth year, add those four together. An easy way to do that in Excel is actually do it diagonally. So I'm going to click equals. This is the sum of the first two. Add it to the one before. And that's the sum of those two. Now, if I copy this formula down into here, what it should do is add the 45757, which is the cost of the annuity for year three, and add it to this cell, which was the sum of the first two. And so I should get my total value of my present value. And let's click in the cell, check it's working, equals B6, add C5. So B6 is there. That is 
the uh, present value of the third year annuity and C5 was the sum of the first two. So there I have it, I can copy that down and I'm getting my present value by sum. Now the beautiful thing is now I can highlight all of these three cells and copy them down uh, because they're all formulas. This one was A6 plus one, this one is a formula and this one is formula. So you can now highlight all three copy them down and you should see there it is working beautifully now what can happen is i can change my interest rate let's let's go crazy let's have five percent interest wow that would be fantastic and you can see the amounts changing i can change the payment uh let's change that to 200 and you can see everything changing instantly. So the beauty of Excel, isn't it fantastic? So try and build this sheet yourself uh, and change the numbers and good luck with your Excel and enjoy.